This program is made by the volunteers at Math Circle Online. Please join us to explore the wonders of math. Hi everyone, today we will be solving the 2015 AMC 10B problem number 17. The question states that the centers of the faces of the right rectangular prism shown below are joined to create an octahedron. What is the volume of this octahedron? Okay, so in the problem, they want us to find a, uh, the, air, the volume of an octahedron that would form if you connected the centers of all the faces of <clears throat> the following rectangular prism. So, try to draw this out first. So, if these are all the centers of our prism, then we would have to do something like Okay, so this can be a little bit hard to imagine, but really what it is, is just two pyramids that have a rhombus as their base, but they're, glue, they're like basically glued uh, onto each other by their base. So what we all we really, really need to do is find the area of one of these pyramids and then multiply it by two and then we're done. So first off, because we can take the advantage that these are the centers and they're basically like midpoints or whatever you want to call them to the faces, then we know that this diagonal of the face of the rhombus of the base would be five. And then the other diagonal over here I can make draw in here. So this would be five. And this other diagonal would be four. So and then the formula for finding the area of a rhombus is one half d1 d2. So d1 and d2 would be the diagonals, and the one half is just one half. So five it would just be five times four times a half. And so the area of the base would be 10, right? So now we need to find the height of the pyramid. So now we need to take into account this 3 here. And since it's the center is in like the middle of everything, then that means it cuts this face in half, right? If you just drew a line, that would be per perpendicular to these two sides. And so this is actually the vertice, and this line is on the same plane as the base of these two pyramids, which means that the height of this pyramid is just 3 over 2, since it's just cutting 3 in 2, basically. So, now we take the base times the height, 3 over 2, and then we take all of this, divide, and then divide by 3, since that's how uh, the formula for a pyramid works. Right. So this would give us 5. So the volume for one pyramid is 5. And since we have two of them, then that means we have to multiply it by 2. This would give us 10 as a final answer. 